We started in 2011 with like 10 vertical landings on the Marine Corps variant. And over the year, we've gotten uh, over 100 more. I think if you look at what we've done over the entire year, quite an achievement for the integrated test force here. From uh, January 1st to now, I think we really set the bar high with what we did out on the WASP, uh, getting 72 of 72 VLs and stoves, and our uh, first catapult shot up at Lakers, and the JBD work that we did. So those were two, two separate events, but they were huge in terms of program um, effectiveness. The overall capability of the uh, F-35 compared to aircraft that are in the fleet now is that it offers a uh, stealth capability, which we just don't have in many nations. I think it's fair to say that um, we have uh, shocked and surprised a lot of people at very senior leader uh, positions of the, the enormous amount of uh, work and accomplishments we've gotten through this year. One of the biggest things that stands out in my mind was getting ready for the first visit from the Commandant when we had three aircraft that were all ready to go, all ready to perform. I think that really shows where we are as, as an aircraft, as a configuration. Operationally, I see the F-35 being the major asset to be used in any air war or uh, any air conflict in the future. I can happily report we're ahead by about 500 test points on the carrier variant, uh, demonstrating going from basically one airplane uh, in November of last year to 500 test points ahead. We've really accomplished a lot this year. CF-1, this expanded just the general flight envelope. It's the first Navy model to go supersonic, um, and it's been out to about uh, Mach 1.3. Done the first uh, off site um, detachment uh, testing up at uh, Lakehurst, New Jersey. So, up here at Lakehurst, uh, we're doing ship suitability testing, just making sure that the uh, ship's going to perform when it gets to the aircraft carrier. We've been to Lakehurst demonstrating its catapult capability, its jet blast reflector capability. Getting that work going demonstrating the efficacy of both variants. The jet seems to be performing very well, especially with the uh, steam ingestion testing compared to legacy models. The engine has yet to stall. It's very impressive. So we have an actual uh, shipboard catapult uh, up at Lakers, and uh, we did uh, approximately uh, 40 to 50 launches with the airplane off the steam catapult, measuring the loads. Some of the highlights while we've been here at Lakers have got to be some of the high G catapult shots, along with uh, as the testing progresses, everyone on the team really starts to get in a groove, and when everything's cooperating, we've been very successful. Uh, one day we got 15 catapult shots, which is excellent for any program, much less uh, a fighter and SDD. We are uh, almost 100 points away from completing our year plan on the Marine Corps variant, and again, achieving many more VLs. Uh, Stovall Mode 4, as we call it, capability, hovers, and uh, things that we didn't uh, know we could really achieve, but the maturity of the airplane and the teamwork that we were able to pull off this year made that possible. It's just good to see that there are more and more pilots getting into the B-Jet and flying it in Stovall and commenting that it's doing what it's supposed to do, and it's easy. Availability of the aircraft has increased uh, tremendously. All of the monumental uh, amount of envelope expansion testing that was required to be able to go out on uh, the USS Wasp uh, was a, a tremendous challenge that was before us. The past few months have shown some really good progress. We've done um, a lot of vertical landings, a lot of stovable work which is obviously important to being ready to go to the ship. We've gone to 10 total vertical landings in all of the program prior to 1 January 2011. 
and we accomplished 72 alone in a three week period uh, on board a ship or with the ship moving at sea. Initial sea trials that we accomplished here on the USS Wasp are a uh, major milestone for the program this year and for the F-35B because it's really the first time that we've been able to take the airplane and stick it in an operational environment. There's no other test facility uh, that we can do this land-based or at Pax River, so it gave us that unique opportunity to take the airplane to sea and operate it in that environment that um, it's going to live its service life and be forward deployed uh, supporting the Marines engaged in combat around the world. Uh, speaking for the uh, WASP, our goal was actually to have the aircraft topside by 6.30 in the morning, um, blue sky, aircraft released and ready for flight, and we did that very effectively. We didn't miss any test points based on the maintenance that was done throughout the first shift and second shift. I think the testing uh, here on the USS WASP was uh, highly successful. We were able to operate the airplane uh, on almost a daily basis. We uh, expanded the wind envelope to uh, essentially the same capability that the uh, AVAB operates with today. It's really going to be a game changer. Two thousand and eleven was an amazing year for the Pax River F thirty five ITF. Now that Pax has a full complement of jets, what does the future hold? The most exciting times in fighter jet history might well be the days we are living in.